dollar, yeah? I eat that I eat, yeah. Hello. The Verif Garden is about 45 minutes outside of Cape Town. It's located on one of the largest wine estates in South Africa, Spear Wine Estate. Thank you. Here they grow fruits, vegetables and herbs that are meant for the estate restaurant. How do you do it? How do you take a large farm and scale it so that it operates like your mother's garden? You take someone who is compassionate enough to look after the plants as if each and every one were being fed to his or her own family. It takes compassion from humans and some sensibility to let nature do its own thing. And that's exactly what's happening here. Everything here is touched by human hands. They're hand seeded, hand planted, hand picked, so that there's this wonderful connection between man and nature's bounty. The way they farm, they don't just look at if the plants are happy, they look at the entire biosphere. So are the plants happy? Are they being chewed by bugs? Is the soil happy? Is it infested with insects that shouldn't be there? Are the insects that you want there, like wasps and ladybirds, are they happy? Are they thriving? It's all interlinked and it works together in a symbiotic relationship. Regardless of whether you live to eat or eat to live, we can all agree that the amount of toxins that you want in your food is zero. Well, how do you do that? How do you farm without insecticides and herbicides? Will you create a neutral environment that inhibits the growth of bad bacteria? And you introduce good bugs, like the green lacewing and the ladybird, that are going to eat the bad insects. The foods are fertilized by mineral-rich organic matter that's created at their large worm farm. So it's this wonderful dance of organized chaos. A worm farm helps to keep the ground neutral so that you have the right minerals for the roots to take in. You have a thriving worm farm and you have a thriving garden to create delicious, plump, and real fruits and vegetables. There's wild fruit, blood orange sunflowers, white cabbage, red cabbage, carrots, wild rocket, heirloom tomatoes, zucchini, purple string beans, turnips. They make sure that they use every part of the plant. Nothing is left behind. The stem will be used for next year's harvest and the rest of the plant goes to their estate restaurant to be lovingly prepared and eaten. At the end of the day, it's like any good creation. It's about passion, it's about skill, and most importantly, it's about teamwork.